Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 17.4 and specifically we're talking about battery life on 17.4. Now in my experience using this software on daily basis since beta one, the battery life has actually been quite good, especially on the last beta and the RC version. So you can see right here, if we take a look at the battery times, we had some pretty good battery lives with iOS 17.4. You can see right here with about 80%, 11 hours on screen, 11 hours, 26 minutes. Then we have here with 75% battery, eight hours, 49 minutes, and then right here, 10 hours, 26 minutes with about 100% battery life. So it's not that bad. But of course, there are things that you will have to do in order to make sure that your battery on iOS 17.4 won't drain really, really fast. Now, the number one thing you have to do, and we're starting things with this one, is wait. According to Apple, for the iOS update to settle in on the device, it will require three to five days and that time will be the time where the iPhone will consume the most battery because there are things going in the background. That's why initially when you install a new software update, a new iOS update, you will notice that the first few days the battery life will be worse and then it will get better. So just wait, be patient and in a few days you will get more battery time on your device. Now the next thing you want to do if you have installed any of the betas of iOS 17.4, you need to make sure that you move out of the beta program, meaning that you have installed either the RC version or if you have disabled the betas before, you have installed the public release of iOS 17.4. So what I suggest you do is make sure that you have your iOS updated. You go here and make sure that it says up to date. So you have the latest RC version or the public version installed on your iPhone. Now, of course, on iOS, everything we do, we do them with apps. So you need to make sure that you have your apps updated as well. Now, most of the popular apps will release a ton of updates, of course, when a new iOS software update is out, especially a bigger one like 17.4, because those apps will, of course, be optimized to work with that iOS version. That way, you need to make sure that you have your apps up to date. You head into your app store, you go to your account right there and make sure that you have all of your apps updated with the latest versions, which of course will be optimized to work better with iOS 17.4, that way even consuming less battery. Now, one thing that has a huge role when it comes to battery lives is the haptic engine on your iPhone. That actually consumes a ton of battery, now, especially if you're using one of the new features that Apple has added with 17.2, where you can set like custom notification sounds. But what you can do with that is that you can also set custom vibrations and that might be something that actually will consume a ton of battery. So we have here the haptics and if you have added a custom haptic, you can just create one like if I do this and tap and hold the finger for a really long time there, that will basically create like a haptic feedback which will consume a ton of battery. So make sure you use as less haptics as possible on your device that will save a ton of battery. Now I suggest you do that with your ringer as well. So you go under sounds and haptics, you will have your haptics. I have them switched to never play because I just don't like having haptics on my device, but I would suggest that you either do this or choose to only play in silent mode, which is this option right here. If you choose always play, you will have haptics playing all the time on your device. You're getting notifications, maybe calls or messages, whatever. It will always play haptics on your device, making the vibration engine work all of the time and consume a ton of battery. Now you have to be careful, especially as I said, the first few days once you have updated to new iOS version, Either way, the battery will drain faster those days, so make sure you do these things that I tell you, that way you will have a ton more battery. Now, another thing that will consume a ton of battery that you don't actually need on your device can be found right here. This is a newer thing that Apple has added with 17.3, I believe. You go under privacy and security, scroll all the way here to analytics and improvements, and then scroll here, you will have something called improve AR location make sure you have this turned off. This will work in the background, helping Apple improve the AR location, but of course will consume CPU power and also battery life out of your device. It will probably drain the battery a lot, but make sure you have this turned off. 
Now, a newer setting on iOS 17 is, of course, the new screen time feature. Well, it will basically have this feature called screen distance. It will always measure the distance between your eyes and the screen of your iPhone, letting you know when you need to put away your iPhone or just push it out of your face. That might be a cool feature and of course probably helpful for a lot of people, but if you don't really think you need it, make sure to turn this off. This will of course work all the time because it will always try to detect whether your iPhone is very close to your face, that way of course consuming a ton of battery. So go under settings, screen time and then under screen distance and make sure you have that turned off. Now one thing I suggest all of my users always do make sure that you use Wi-Fi most of the time if you want to have a really good battery life. Now I know a lot of people, maybe most people will have unlimited data plans and all those things and they just don't care. Maybe even their 5G is faster than the Wi-Fi. That's why they will use data all the time instead of Wi-Fi. But that consumes a ton of battery, especially if you're using 5G all the time. So when you're on familiar locations, of course, like your home or maybe your office or your school, wherever you are, that you know you have a good Wi-Fi connection, make sure that you turn it on and use Wi-Fi for most of the time on your iPhone and you will see the battery life increase a lot on your device. Now another thing, a pretty cool feature of iOS which can be found here under Accessibility Touch and then just down here back tap. A lot of people have used this feature, it was cool when it was first released, it's still cool but most of the times we just set this up maybe just like to show off the feature or something like that and then don't use it. If you have these turned on here, any of the options right here, but you're not actually using it, I would suggest that you go and turn them off immediately. The way to turn them off, just choose here none and you're good to go. Now if you have one of the iPhones with an OLED display, this is something that you should do most of the time and that's keeping your iPhone on the dark mode. So you notice here everything that is black on the screen of my device here is actually pixels of the screen that are turned off completely. They are not black, they are just turned off completely. That way the device is consuming way less battery. What I suggest you do under display and brightness, make sure that you go right here and you will you will have the option right there to set a custom schedule if you want to, or you can manually turn on the dark mode anytime you feel like, but just make sure that you use it for most of the time, it will actually save you a ton of battery. Now another thing that I suggest all the time that iOS users do is turn off a feature that can be found right here under accessibility and then just go under Siri here and you will find something called here always listen for hey you know the word but you don't want to do that. Basically what you're doing by turning on this feature is making your iPhone always stay ready always listening for the hey word. It doesn't matter whether it's a fa is face down on a table or maybe in your pocket, it will always stay ready listening for that word. And you know what that means, once you have your iPhone always doing something even in the background, it is also consuming a ton of battery. Next up we're moving back into the battery section here and we're talking about apps. So I have a few apps here that are using most of the battery on my iPhone. Now I have here apps that I know I use a lot, but if I see here any of the apps that I just use a few minutes maybe, maybe every other day or very rarely use on my device and they're up here, then I will delete those apps. Those are apps that are probably poorly coded and they will consume a ton of battery even though you're not using them that much. What I suggest you do if you see any app you know you didn't just spend a lot of time on it but it's still at the top here consuming a ton of battery, you can show the activity, it shows you how much you have used that app, then just make sure you go ahead and delete it, maybe replace it with another app that can do similar tasks. And last but not least, we're also talking again about apps, just don't close apps. Now I do this all the time, I have this thing that I just cannot see apps on my app switcher, I always close them out but you shouldn't do that. This has also been confirmed by Apple and you should never do that, never close apps from the app switcher, especially apps that you know you're going to use through the day probably 10 times or even more. If I need the settings app all the time, I don't need to close it. It will stay on the app switcher, it will be there ready for me to use it and not have to reload every time I want to open it. So don't close apps from the app switcher. So that's basically it for this video guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe for more videos, leave a like if you enjoyed this one and I'll see you on the next video.